Okay guys, I wanted to show you what I was talking about in that email. This is the large and medium. I have the uh, inside the waistband belt clip. This is uh, the narrow one. This has an adjustable retention. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with adjusting it because right now it's set up on the paddle outside the waistband. And of course it fits the PD-10 really well. But I know what you're wondering, it's universal. Will it fit the new black frame PD-10? Yes, it will. It does a good job at that. Uh, how about something like the Glock 43? Well, this is the Polymer 80 version of the Glock 43, but still, uh, obviously, it's that one's going to be good. Uh, what else does this little guy do real well? It does a Springfield XDS 4-inch. Not a lot of, uh, not as much holster support, I think, for the Springfield, but there we go. We got that. Um, this holster supports it in the product lines. You don't always see the XDS supported. This is that Kimber, um, tiny, like the most reliable gun, maybe the only reliable gun Kimber's ever made, for that can tell, for defensive carry. Uh, this one, with even with the kind of custom and this and that, it fits in there really good. A uh, little bit of room up here. But this thing, interestingly, check this out, Glock, uh, regular Glock. What do I have around here? It's a regular Glock kind of thing. I've got, oh, again, what I've got? I've got a super duper awesome... There it is. Around here somewhere, the shadow system is like the best Glock out there. Uh, best, certainly the best thing that's come to market. That is the fancy Glock. This is the 920L. It fits in there. And this is where um, we'll jump. This is the, the slim one, right? This is the small and medium. This is the medium and large. And this gun will fit. So basically all of the Glock 19s, I'm sure Glock 26, 17, all the variations of the double stack midsize will fit in either holster, um, which is kind of nice. That's the transitional point. Uh, what else do I have for the large one? Uh, M&P uh, fits in there really good. Um, no issues there. We've got... Uh, the Grand Power, almost no holster support on the market for the Grand Power rotary barrel ones, and they're kind of wide and chunky, uh, but this one uh, fits in there really good. It's what else, uh, oh, uh, you know what? Everybody's always looking for a holster for the Alchemy Arms Spectre, right? I'm sure you guys get that one in the shop a lot, uh, the, the 18 owners, um, but this one works. This one actually holds it pretty good, no problem. Um, something else big and chunky, the Canic Meta. Um, another one, it doesn't have a lot of holster support on the market, um, but this one fits in there really good. Obviously, there are smaller versions of the Meta that this would work just as well. Um, we've got the, uh, sometimes people would like, this is a really chunky Patmos slide on a Polymer 80. We already looked at the little Polymer 80 fitting in that one, but clearly this also fits because um, it's not a standard Glock profile, so that's important uh, for that. I know you guys have sold a bunch of Polymer 80s and done the gun making thing. Uh, 1911, regular 1911, kind of fits in there, but then we're going to go back to the slim line for the regular 1911, and it fits in there. We're good, holds it, no problem. That's the fake fancy uh, 1911. Here's an actual fancy 1911, 10 millimeter long slide with an optic, um, and, and this is not a small red dot, um, so these things are optic ready as well. Left hand, right hand, inside, outside. Um, <laughs> the price on these is kind of ridiculous. Um, the price on this in the holster is less than a magazine for most of the guns. Uh, the, this is a little fatter, the FNS9C, so I, I'd give it a bigger one for that. Um, unlike the Glocks, it doesn't really fit as well in both. Um, of course, the, uh, I don't know, the 509, that whole series has a very similar uh, profile to the, oh, well, look at that, fits pretty well. Similar profile to that FNS series. So another company that doesn't get a lot of holster support, um, definitely supported by this holster. Um, everybody that's got their, their $6,000 FK Dino 7.5 millimeter field pistol is looking for a good inside the waistband appendix carry holster. And there you go. Um, a heavy gun, very heavy gun. Uh, no problem there either. Um, and this thing, uh, I've got a suppressed 22 Colt with no holster support and no sights. Uh, actually, I'm going to go slim on this guy. And again, this is without adjustments. Um, that works. This is the first time, I think, in the 30 years I've pulled that gun. I actually have a holster for it. That isn't, uh, like, you know, Kodora or something with a flat. Uh, so there you go. Paradigm. Really uh, impressive. So if you have an RTF frame laying around, holds that super well. You could probably even put a slide in and it would work. Uh, Paradigm. You could really impressed with what this thing does the variety of what it does.